What's the crack, lads? We are back. It's Monday. We'll be streaming in a little bit. But first, we wanted to do a quick video on the new Showtime packs. So no epics today. I, I said last week that they were probably going to switch things up as to what would become a Monday. They don't seem to be doing the epics anymore. You still get your logins and all that. Lads, the throat's a little bit sore. I'll explain everything on stream later. But uh, yeah, we had a mad weekend. But these contracts here at the moment, boys... I genuinely feel they're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel now and I think that these are literally just for people that missed out on a big shiny version of Mbappe. Donnarumma, listen, probably my favourite goalkeeper ever before Petr Cech was the main guy in my main squad. But I mean, he's just a goalkeeper, man. It doesn't matter how good the goalkeepers are, you will concede goals. You know, you will get rebounds, you will parry ball back into the six-yard box. It's just the way the gameplay is at the moment with the goalkeepers. Now, yes, if you do manual goalkeeping, you can have a beast in goals with Donnarumma. But if you have any of the big-time players like Can or Seaman or uh, Schmeichel, Petr Cech, even other versions of Donnarumma, it's going to be a similar experience. And Zakaria is probably the pick of the pack. I'm going to show you why Mbappe is a little bit of a letdown, um, even though he has phenomenal finishing, right? But this pack is in a 150 box. As you see here, um, and you've got a couple of boys in here that are probably just, yeah, I mean, they're not, they're only making up the numbers, really, um, and that means no disrespect to any of these players, but like I said, it's interesting enough, 36 levels, pretty decent, Sar is not too bad, um, yeah, Gomez is okay, I mean, he's probably another pick of him as well, he's got good acceleration, balance type possession, everything's pretty much where you want it to be before you get him into that 90 zone with whatever stats you choose, but he's got standard form, his player skills are quite good, he has one touch pass, soul control, double touch, you can give him flip flap, get ball roll, very interesting card, but who is going to really use this guy when you're coming up against the epic, epic players like Vieira and stuff like that, right? So it's all about the showtime as usual. And as I said, I'm not going to spend too long on this. I'm going to show you why in a second that Mbappe might be worth spinning for, but also it depends on what other players that you have, as with all these showtime cards. So a lot of the facts of the showtime cards go into the, the, the actual, you know, a lot of the facts. A lot of the point of these are the fact that they have a showtime skill. Donnarumma doesn't, but Mbappe does have uh, phenomenal finishing, and Sakaria has Fortress, right? So Fortress is going to be giving a boost to his defensive capabilities, and obviously phenomenal finishing, exactly what it says on the tin for Mbappe. This Sakaria here, lads, is very interesting as a DMF anchorman, because he's probably one of the fastest DMF anchormans in the game. He's a beast, and I know a lot of people will say, well, what about Vieira, what about Rijkaard? You've answered your own question there. If you've got Vieira or Rijkaard doing a good job for you in DMF, Sakaria is not going to be a massive upgrade on him. The same way is that if you have this Sakaria and they release Vieira in a couple of weeks' time, it's not going to be a massive upgrade. I mean, you're literally just moving pieces around the chessboard. That's all you're doing for the, where you know these players are. Excellent uh, aggression, speed, acceleration, physical contact, stamina, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass. Insane for a player that goes 39 levels. He also has blocker, fortress, fighting spirit, interception, man marking, as well as first time shot, long range shooting and one touch pass. I mean, for this guy here to make him the complete all-rounder, acrobatic clearance, aerial superiority, probably stick low lofted and weighted pass on him as well. And then, you know, I mean, you pretty much have one of the best cards in the game. It's an insane card. He's definitely worth spinning for if you do not have Vieira or right card, or if you don't have somebody that is completely dominating midfield for you. I have people ask me the whole time, how do you get more blocks? How do you intercept more? How do you press more? It's usually got to do with your DMF. If you've got an unbelievable DMF, you won't ask that question because you'll already have your answer. They'll do so much of the work for you. And this will be no different with Sakaria. He definitely gets a thumbs up from me. He's got the height. He's got the long limbs. He's got the octopus legs. Same as Vieira, honestly, and Rijkaard. He's definitely in that tier and in that category. Fantastic card, 39 levels. Nothing to dislike about him. Donnarumma, as I said, probably one of my favorite cards. Reflexes and reach, very nice, even though you don't need to reach. 29 levels, 196 CM, so he's up into that upper tier. And with the booster as well, you're going to have all of these stats get a boost. Very easy card to trade up. All you're doing is popping 12 into goalkeeper awareness or 10, depending on your manager boost. Um, 10 or 11 points into goalkeeper awareness. Get his awareness up to 90 plus. Get his reflexes up to 90 plus and then throw the rest into wherever that you want. Honestly, you literally do not need catch and parry in or reach with these big goalkeepers. As I said, you will concede goals. You will concede knock-ins. You will concede rebounds. You will concede balls over, you know, a high ball. 
The goalkeepers, uh, they need a big upgrade for eFootball 2025. But still, he doesn't have any showtime skills. So it's not like he has, you know, mesmerizing saves or long-range finesse saves or anything like that. You will still be able to beat Donnarumma, um, you know, in, in goals. But he is a big unit. He's got low punt, long throw. Pretty much exactly what you want in a, in a, in a goalkeeper. And then last but not least, we have Kylian Mbappe. Um, hasn't really lit it up in the Euros so far. This is going to be his last ever PSG version of a card. As you can see there, he's 88 off the rip, 81 attacking awareness, ball control 79, dribbling 82, finishing 83, speed, acceleration and balance, all very doable to get up to the 90 zone. If you are struggling with any version of Mbappe, lads, this is the build that you need to go for. It's 90 in all stats and I'm going to show you. He's got some nice player skills there as well. This is a fully tuned up Mbappe. This is from OC, so shout out to OC for sending me this build. This is how he built him. It's exactly how I would build him as well. Maybe just one or two more in uh, away from speed. You could go with that as well. You could take down the speed to 95, and that would take down your kicking power to maybe about, well, I keep the kicking power at 85, actually. So maybe take down the speed one, and then you could throw it into low pass. You could throw it into physical contact. But honestly, as I said it earlier, you're just moving pieces around the chessboard. The big key with a run and gun center forward, 90 type possession, 90 balance, and 90 plus acceleration. Tacking awareness is always great if you can get it up past the 90, the same with ball control and, and dribbling. But if you are looking to get on the ball with your players and run and pop and pass and make the movement when the AI is controlling them or make it manually, 90 type possession, 90 balance, and 90 acceleration plus is, is where you need to go. Now, I'm going to just show you one thing here while we have that up on screen. Konami did give away a free Mbappe, right? So I'm going to keep Mbappe up on the screen there for a second. I won't make this video too long. But if you look at Mbappe's stats there, right? And also, if you look at, at his skills, um, which we'll go into here, these are his skills here. Um, I think that, yeah, dip and shot and outside curler are a must for this card, 100%. But if you look at the other version of Mbappe that they released for free, they did give you a free Mbappe version um, way back when. Uh, well, not way back when, but they also give, yeah, they give you a free version of Mbappe if you've been playing the game for a long time, but they've also given this version of Mbappe as well, which I'm going to show you right here, right now. So this version of Mbappe here is 95 speed, 94 acceleration, 89 balance. Now, obviously, if we change manager and we put him with our, you know, our main manager with possession game, um, we're going to swing that around, change the team play style. This is what we're going to get, a 99 overall Mbappe. He's going to have every stat into the 90s. So it's a very similar card. Very, very, very similar card, actually, I would say. So on the left here, well, we're just going to show you here. So this is the card here, the new one. So you've got 93, 93, 96, 90, starting with attack and awareness. And this card here, the free Mbappe, is 91, 93, 98, 91. So again, you're hitting the 91 plus uh, type possession and attack and awareness. They both have 90 finishing, heading. Curl, set piece taken, you're not going to be do, needing any of that anyway with Mbappe, so it's not that big of a deal. Speed 95 and 95 on the free version with 90 balance, and this version has 98, 99, and 90 balance. So the only thing you're really being boosted here is his kicking power, which is 79 on the free one and 86 on the new one. So, you know, but at the end of the day, this Mbappe that you're seeing on screen right now is going to cost you coins to spin, whereas this Mbappe that we have in our, in our squad here is literally going to be 100% free because you will be getting him from the objective. So I think they missed a, bo missed a bit of a trick on him. Um, I think that they should have given him maybe like 90 low pass as well or maybe 90 physical contact. I don't know, man. I don't know at this stage what their plans are for eFootball 2025 with the cards. I mean, how much how much further can they go them before the cards start, you know, getting very similar, you know, comparing the premium to the freemium cards? Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. As I said, it's Mbappe. He's going to be a beast. This guy was beasting for us as well. I mean, 12 matches, 10 goals. That's all you need to know. All online games as well. Um, very phenomenal card. But as I keep saying, every single running gun striker, what I mean by running gun striker is, you know, a smaller based, you know, pacey center forward that has got tight possession, finishing, acceleration, balance, 90 plus. You're going to beast with him if you learn how to play that running gun and use the AI to your advantage in the movements and stuff. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this pack. For me, yeah, I mean, it's it's a difficult one. As I said, I think everyone's waiting now for eFootball 2025, and I think that's where I'm at as well um, with it, because these cards, they're literally just like, you know, 2 or 3% better or worse than their other versions. So let me know what you guys think. I'll be back live streaming in about an hour from the time this goes up. So hope to see you there. We've got lots to discuss, including my voice, and I will talk to you in a little bit. Peace.